welcome good news out of batshit bonkers Britain, although I'm on the Isle of Man right now, which does not belong to Britain. But anyway, cash. So cash, for the first time in a decade, cash use has gone up. And it hasn't just gone up by a little bit. It's gone up by 7%, which is actually massive and hugely bucks the trend. And it's the trend of this thing that really matters. So for the longest time, over a decade, cash has been on a massive downward trajectory. And you will know that the plan is to get rid of cash, to digitalise everything. And in fact, a bank called, I think, Macquarie in Australia has just come out and said by November 2024, no more cash, no paying in, no checks, no nothing, all digital. But because of glorious people in the UK, and I would like to say a huge well done to anybody involved in campaigns to keep our cash or keep our cash campaign, whatever, you are being glorious. So a 7% uptick, if you look at the graph, it's sizable, it's substantial. Mainstream media are trying to explain this away. They are saying, well, it's due to the cost of living crisis and people find it easier to budget if they have cash which begs the question, well, why are you getting rid of it then if it helps people budget? But they do not want to acknowledge that actually one of the reasons I believe that there is a shift and a dramatic shift in the trend is because of people like you, good people who are determined to use cash more, to stand up for cash so that it does help our elderly. So it gives people a reason to have conversations so that people have a form of currency they can use where you can't also be tracked, where someone one day can't just turn it off or take it away from you or control you by the use of your digital currency. So I choose to believe that this massive 7% uptake in the use of cash is down to you, is down to the massive silent majority that want to keep cash and are beginning the fight back. And the one thing I say to everyone when they ask me, what can we do? Do more of what pisses people off. The people that are trying to control us, the way we fight back is we do more of it. You, they piss you off by trying to make you a bloody locust sucking person, eat more damn meat. They want you to travel less, fly more. And they want to take away your cash today. If you can, try and do one transaction that you would have done by card, try and do it with cash. We need to keep cash alive. It's a great conversation point for our elderly. It's a brilliant way of being able to live our lives outside of the control of the tyrannical state. And I want you to look at that graph and the uptick and know that you guys are fighting back. And that graph shows you that we are starting to win.